This is a really good example of a expected value problem. So thanks for asking this one. This one is an important type of problem because you have to take into consideration that there is a charge for this ticket. Whether you win or lose, you end up with a fee of $5. So let me break this down. We've got three possibilities. We could win $500 and one in 1,000. We'll win that $500. You could win $200. Two in 1,000 participants are gonna win the $200. Or you could win nothing, which means you're a loser in the game. And 997 out of the 1,000 are gonna be losers. Now I said, winning 500, but you may have noticed that I wrote that the gain is only $495. And that gain is $495 because we take our 500 and then we have to subtract from that what we paid, which was $5. So you don't actually gain, if you win $500, you don't actually gain 500, you actually gain 495. Or if you win 200, your gain is 195. And then if you lose, you, you lose the full $5. So that's where these three values, 495, 195, and negative five came from. For expected value, all we need to do now is multiply the probability of winning $500 times the gain, which is 495. So that comes out to a 0.495. And then for the $200 win, because there were two winning tickets for this, we have two one thousandths times the gain of 195 gives us 0.39. And then all those losers, we have a negative $5 value times this probability of losing, which is 997 thousandths. And if we add all three of these possible, possible outcomes, we see that there's a loss of $410 or the expectation is negative four and one tenths. I hope that that quick example helps. If you do have any further questions about this example, please reach out to me. Be happy to answer your uh, detailed questions about the type of problem.